Hi. New Year again. I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. Hi, Tanya. How are you? I'm trying to find my video on the other screen and it's not there. There we are. I have happy mail from Donna in Australia that I must show. Hey, Jean. I need to message her. <clears throat> She's probably chasing children around. So we'll just chat for a few minutes and see if she returns my message. Yeah, happy meal. I do have two books that came from Amazon today, too, that I wanted to show you guys. What are you up to today, Jean? And did you guys get notifications? I. It's always so random with, with YouTube, you know. I always say I only get notifications if I have Google Chrome open doing something else. It's bizarre. It's very bizarre. And there is quite a lag tonight. Wow. Everybody was using up the YouTube. So I got, I got, I had to get two of these, of course. Of course I did. William Morris sticker books. And I got this. This, this, this is my happy meal from Donna. We'll get to that in a minute. We'll, just, we'll, we'll get back to that. Hey, Carla, what you doing, girl? Ooh, the ring light doesn't like that book, does it? I survived the New Year's Eve, <clears throat> excuse me, the New Year's Eve blowout sale. And I got all but five packages paid and in the mail today. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Linda. And I don't think my mailman's very happy with me. <laughs> Hi, Peggy. Hi, KK. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I scheduled the pickup last night, not knowing, you know, how many I would have paid. Hey, Brooke. It's me again. Brooke's only got like 13 minutes because her dinner is going to be ready. Hey, Candy. Um, yeah, so I scheduled my pickup and then I got up this morning and I just started, you know, putting the labels on the paid orders. And the mailman was actually quite late today. So I got every single thing that was paid for, which was, I don't I think at last count it was 70 plus packages because a lot of people had two because of media mail, you know. Well, the mailman, he didn't pull up to the house. He went out to the mailbox. So I ran out there and I, I said, uh, did I say hi to Candy? I said, are you going to back up for my pickup? He said, I don't have a pickup for you. I'm like, oh, man, I wish it was your day off. I have a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, what do you want to drink? What do you want for a snack? Because we're going to be in the driveway a minute. Uh, yay, Brooke is crafting. That's great. Who else did I miss? Oh, Jean. Well, you know, like I said, we were good to him at Christmas. So hopefully, uh, he said, no, the boss is the one that hands out the pickup slips. And he didn't give me anything this morning. As I'm handing him, you know, 30, 40, 45 pound packages <laughs> with the giant ledgers. <sighs> Wait a minute. Peggy and Jean got to craft together? What'd I miss? Oh, virtually. Fun. Though that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Carla. Who else did I miss? Did I say hi to Linda? C. 
See, I, the days just run together. I can't even. Oh, I got a fancy new pen in the mail. The place where I order my pens, like every other month, they send me a pen with, you know, my info on it. I kind of like this one. <laughs> I think that's a good idea, Brooke. Except mine's like Roberto. I, I think I say Roberto and my husband calls him Robert. So I don't really know what his name is. No peace, Steve. There. <laughs> there, there, or there. Which is it, Brooke? <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Uh, Brooke's been use, learning to use her iPad. Might be a little bit comical, I'm just saying. In typo mode. Oh no, Jean, does your iPad have what Jennifer's had? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's an iPad virus. It's an iPad pandemic. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Where's Susan? I need her to read that. Uh, it was hilarious. If you guys heard her reading Jennifer Jane's chats over at Rosemary's. Appalatus. <laughs> yes, it's Appalatus. Uh, oh, that's funny. <laughs> you might want to put a mask on it, Brooke. Just saying. Get it vaccinated. <laughs> oh, that could go in so many directions. Okay, let's just rein it right back in and behave yourself, Johnny. Yeah, so while I um, stall to see if Donna gets my message, because she's probably still chasing children around the house, I was going to show you these two books. So this one, the William Morris sticker book, featuring more than 150 reusable stickers. And I haven't taken one off yet to see. So they've got a white edge, which you know how I am with white, but I could ink that up. I could ink that up. <laughs> Do you need a new keyboard, Peggy? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Wallpaper Patterns by William Morris. Wallpaper Sample Books before 1917. Huh. Interesting. I don't know if there's a, I'm trying to see if there's a glare, if you guys can actually even see these. I know, Peggy, I was just thinking that. Or like the square ones, I would probably just stitch them, you know, put a little stitch around them or something. Use them in a collage. But there's 150 stickers and I thought, eh, why not? I was in a book buying mood a week ago. I have, I think, three more books coming. So that's what that is. Oh, and I do have the links to both of these for you guys. Because I was ready because I knew you might ask. Brooke is using big words today. She must be asking the iPad. The iPad made her smart. Really, Carla? Did you get any? <clears throat> mm. I'm also looking for Pam because I got this really cool book. I got this because of her. This is her fault. I'm blaming. I have to blame somebody. Get close so you guys can see. It's not what it looks like. So it's called... Here, let me just put the link before I even start to show it, and then you guys can do what you're going to do. It's
it's got lots and lots and lots of birdies but so it's a country diary the the year in is that Kiri or Kerry? Kerry. Anyway. But at the beginning of each month, you know, it says January, and it's got one or more birds with their name. And I'm getting ready to make Pam's 2021 birding journal. And I thought this would be fun because um, I put 12 signatures in it. So she has, you know, a signature for each month for her birding. So I thought this might be kind of cool for the front of each signature and then there's all kinds of other birds and and creatures see this one's got I've never heard of this bird jackdaw jackdaw oh rooks Carla says rooks yeah what's a rook I've never heard of a rook that's chess isn't it And all the little critters. Oh, chicken. <laughs> Look, Brooke. First came the chicken, then came the cow. It's an inside joke. Only Brooke will get that. Come on, Brooke. That's funny. Tell me that's not funny. <laughs> she is, Peggy. She really is. I can't wait to see what happens Thursday when she's actually live all by herself with no supervision. <laughs> yeah, chicken, cow, and cow patties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, thrush, bullfinch, robin, chaffinch. See, I know nothing about birds. So anyway, Pam... I sent her a text. Look at all these birds, Pam. Hey, Jude. I know, Jean, it is because she has an iPad. We've been telling her. I told her today, I said, now would you please get an iPhone? <laughs> oh, we don't. If you get an iPhone, your cha-ching will come back, Brooke. <laughs> yeah, don't be afraid. Oh, and one piece of, um, I have one piece of business. There is only three people that have not paid their invoices from Thursday's live sale. Just saying. Just saying. Let's see. April, there's a mute swan. I guess he can't talk. I <laughs> know, poor Mark. Jean, you did pay me. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> and your package went out <laughs> with my not-so-happy mailman today. Swallow, Swift, oh, and that cherry tree. <laughs> yeah, and one of the reasons I like this is because, you know, it's all black and white. And the, the paper isn't white, white, so I don't even have to stain it. Oh, look at that guy. Curlew. He's got a schnoz on him. Anywho, so Pam, when you see this, look at this. Oster, oyster, oyster catcher. Oh, he's an oyster catcher. Dunlin, never heard of that. Of course, I'm not bird smart, so, ooh, this one's butterflies. So anyway. Hey, CB. Oh, no, the poor mailman. I'm not even playing. Look, I'll show you guys. I absolutely... Look at that pile. It goes on and on. And that, those stacks are about three feet high. Yeah, I felt bad for him. I really did. <laughs> Corn Crane, Gray Wagtail, Skylark. I've heard of that. Isn't it? It is a cool book. I know, right? On Amazon. I put the link in, and I think I put them in the description box, too. Um, hmm, that butterfly is called a peacock. 
Anyway, so Pam, when you see this, let me know if you want me to, because I know we were talking about on your first page, I was going to um, make numbered lines for you to write your birds on. So I thought I could tip this in. So you lift this up and then write under it. I thought that might be fun. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> said three. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, Peggy, now you have to tell us. Come on. You can't just throw that out there like that and then leave us hanging. <laughs> Are you guys getting freaked out by the birds? Oh, what's... That almost looks like a penguin. Trying to see what it is. Oh no, I'll have to read the whole thing. Come on, Peggy, share with the rest of the class. <gasps> oh, there's gotta be more to that story. There's gotta be more. <laughs> right? Yeah. What Jude said. And then what? <laughs> Where did his wallet get stolen? <laughs> that is the question. Not really Jude's game. Oh. <laughs> She's playing. I don't know. I don't have any idea why there's a fish in the bird book, okay? Might be a flying fish. No, it's a wild Atlantic salmon. What does that have to do with anything? Robin and goose. Anyway, are you guys tired of seeing the book now? Turkey? Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys want to see my happy mail from Donna? I did peek. I couldn't. I, I, I can't. I can't, like, just put packages in a pile and wait a week to open them. Hey, Terry. Yeah, I agree with Carla. 150%. I absolutely agree with her. Okay. So. These haven't been opened yet. And I completely forgot to put a treat in Donna's box before it went out today. Because we trade treats. Oh, I can give you a really quick fix, Brooke. I have been quick. Brooke, you wanna you want a quick fix? Hold please. Hang on, we're gonna have a tutorial. Three minute tutorial. Help work out, out of a pickle. Uh oh, husband's home. One second, ladies. Okay, there, I told him. Okay, Brooke, are you paying attention? Brooke to the front of the store. I need to know she's watching. She left.
Oh, so I'm going to help you and you're going to leave. Okay, I see how to get <laughs> it. Let me know. Do you have three minutes or you got to go? The front of which store? My store or your store, literally. The front of your store. Fine, chop, chop. Okay, so heavyweight chipboard. Yes, pretend it's not this wide. This would be a giant spine. I keep this, it was a, it was. It is just a Cricut paper cutter, um, but I keep it and use it only for this. So every quarter inch, you gotta hold this down. Every quarter inch, go over it like four or five times. Then go to the next quarter inch. It doesn't cut all the way through, right? It just cuts about halfway. You guys are getting a really top secret secret here. However wide your spine is, right? whatever. Okay, say I now say I did the whole thing, right? And see all the lines. <laughs> Carla's just looking at the Tim Tam, and then. You do this, you do this, everywhere there's a score mark. You do this, you do this. It's much easier off camera. You know I don't like to craft on camera. Anywho, and you keep doing that, and what that does, you know, if pretend this straight part isn't here. A, that gives you your rounded spine. Voila. There, see, 30 seconds. Now you have a nicely rounded, ready to go. Again, pretend this isn't here. Okay, all right, there, that was it. That's all you're getting for the rest of the year. <clears throat> the karma ones are amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. Now Okay, Brooke, go have dinner. You're rubbing off on Peggy. <laughs> I knew she is, Peggy. Carla, Carla. Okay, but now see, I will probably like these. My husband will probably love these. But, so, and I don't think that Donna knows this, but two of my favorite treats are shortbread and macadamia nuts. I may or may not have got into these macadamia butter shortbread cookies. Oh, mm -hmm. these are going to get hidden in the room in here, 100%. And look at him. Oops. And them. Okay, so those were my <clears throat> those were my edible treats. <laughs> You're all good, Brooke. You can go have dinner now. You're straightened you all out. No. See that? In three days, I got you completely straightened out. And I love how she she gives me notes. Um. Well, Brooke, I went to the grocery store yesterday. I couldn't even begin to tell you what's in my snack drawer. Couldn't even begin. I got a really nice Christmas card with really nice, really nice note inside. And this is, well, let's, let's take it out of the shiny bag. I haven't opened these yet. I waited for you guys. Eucalyptus Volume 1, 1969, for book, book boards or journals. Oh, she tells me what book it's from, what year, and she tells me how I'm going to use it. I like that. Okay, Brooke. See ya. Ooh, I like these. A, because it's a signature, and B, the pages aren't white, so I don't have to tea stain them. Ooh, these will be good in that. Um, I'm going to be working on a very, very, very special botanical journal. So these will go really cool in that. <clears throat> oh, Wildflower of Australia, 1938. 
So hold on. Let's see. I gotta keep my notes on things. Good night, Brooke. Oh, and Brooke will be at Brooke, 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 Brooke. Is there anybody new here that doesn't know your channel? Brooke will be on on Thursday, back to normal, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So what was this one? Uh, Wildflowers of Australia. That's who it's by, 1938. Oh, and look at, I could cut that into fours for pockets. Oh, sorry for the glare. Ooh, I need to turn the air down. Hey, on, gang, I'm cooking. Melting in my seat, literally. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. Thank you so much. I always love my goodies from Donna. Donna, where are you? I sent her a message, but like I said, she's probably chasing the littles around. Okay, so again, I haven't opened any of these. This one she wrote jelly plates on. Now I'm just looking at that image right there thinking there's no way I'm going to put that on the jelly plate. There is no way. <laughs> BBC History Magazine. It's 25, girl. <laughs> <gasps> Look at that. No way, no how that that's going on the jelly plate. I don't think. Who knows? It might. <gasps> it would, Carla. You're right. Look at her. I'd put her on the jelly plate. I'd put her on the jelly plate. Mm, I don't know. I'm not looking at both sides. Oh, she would be good on the jelly plate because it's black and white. <laughs> Carla. Oh, that would make a nice writing board too. Trees. Yeah, these are good jelly plate ones. We saw what the trees did. Oh, man. Uh-oh. That's going to have to go in Pam's book. Hmm. I was going to start Pam's journal tomorrow. Do you think she'd get mad if I took the day off and got the jelly plate out? <laughs> as, soon as, she hears, as soon as she hears that, she's going to message me. <laughs> These are gorgeous. Oh. Carla. This is escape routes. Somebody's escape route. Oh, look at that. Yep, I feel for you guys. I'm sorry it's cold where you are. I really am. Oh, wow, that's cool. Whoops. That one might have had a little. That had some glass cutters in it. <laughs> Donna sent me glass cutters. Check that out. She did, Peggy. Might have to get the jelly plate out tomorrow. Saying. And I can blame her. Oh, I like the ships. Oh, look at that. Singer Sewing Machine is born, 1851. This was a good idea to just go through and get you know, page, nice pages, not any ads or whatever, instead of sending a whole magazine because it's so heavy. It's a great idea, Donna. 
Oh, look at her with her typewriter. A lot of peaches here. These are great. Thank you so much, Donna. Oh, that's neat. Hugging her paintbrushes. Yay. Okay. All right. What's next? Oh, I think the card spoke about this pack. Let's see. It says, I found this in my local antique store. I think this is it, right? In October 1931. New Zealand copyright laws, you're good to copy. Cool. Okay. Hey, Susan, what are you doing? Oh, oh, look at, what are these? Oh, they're little envelopes. Safety first, Commonwealth Savings Bank of Australia. Save part of each pay for it pays to save. And then on the back is a recipe. This one is little coconut cakes. This one is bloater paste. Does anybody know what bloater paste is? <laughs> Bird. <laughs> I just saw that. Uh, stuffed fried lamb cutlets. Ah, oh, this one doesn't have a recipe. Money talks, but if you haven't saved any, you cannot get in the conservation. These are cool. Thanks, Donna. Cigarette and tea cards, 1910 to 1930. Oh. I don't have anything like these. Awesome. Susan, you still doing a ship journal? Or was it Betty? Who is doing the ship journal? Oh, there's a train. Plane. Me. Me what? Me, you're doing a train journal? Ship. Okay, ship. Put that in your ship pile. In your pile of ship. <laughs> pile of ship. All right. Hold on. I gotta move. I need to move the snacks so we can look at this Auckland Weekly News Christmas number you guys can't see that hold on let me zoom up. hold on All right, if I can't find my keyboard it's under the pile to my left <laughs> you always have a pile of ship uh when do you get some time off? Look at that bird. Pam's going to want that bird. Oh, boy. I, I'm saying, uh, I have plenty of that. I have no worries there, Carla. Oh, and it's stapled, which is fabulous. Stay at the Hotel St. George in Wellington. 
This almost looks like a lot of the stuff that's in the trunk. That was so funny last night. Who was it? Carla, was it you that said, what about the trunk? I completely forgot about it. Ship. Bank of New Zealand. You are off now until Monday morning? Did somebody make a mistake? Holy cow, good for you. Yes, the junk in the trunk for, truck for sale. I know. I know. We'll get there. We'll get there. I promise. So somebody covered up, like on the cover and right here, this is like a, like paper tape. I wonder what's under there. We'll never know. Oh, but there are some amazing images in here. Who that? Oh, it's Pam. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That probably feels like a whole month to you. Ship. Old cars. This is cool. Oh, look at the poppies. Irish retrievers. Bird. How did that happen, Susan? And which journal are we speaking of? Hey, Pam, um, you're not too late. I won't show the whole thing again because you can go back and see it. But um, this book, the link is in the description box below, A Country Diary, The Year in Kerry, or Kerry, I don't know. It's different than anything I've ever seen. Hold on, let me find, see how it's got each month and it's got birds and plants and stuff. But yeah, just re-watch and you'll hear the questions that I asked as I flipped through it. 2021 scavenger hunt book. All right, so what What do you need done to the cover? Explain it to me, man. Do you actually need a cover or do you have a cover that just needs help? Oh, ship. You made a cover. <laughs> Was it a dare? <laughs> I mean, I, that didn't come out right. It's just like you don't have time to eat, let alone make a journey. Look at the, how just all the artwork and everything. It's amazing. Oh, you guys, you probably can't see. Hey, Nana, happy new year. <clears throat> this really is an amazing oh, look at her with her head in the apple tree I started it in our craft and started it in our craft and play this morning uh, okay don't tell me you were were you live did I miss something Or is she, is she yanking my chain? Hey, Mary. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Well, can we see a photo? Pictures or it didn't happen. Look at that. Wow, Donna, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Pictures, or it didn't happen. Peggy, did she really do it? Anchor butter. Wow. 
for your guest the best. Spay Royal Scotch Whiskey. Top secret until April. Okay. <laughs> no kidding, Mary. Oop. Hang on. That's the now. I'll bet you anything that. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want that picture. I wanted to see the journal, you goof. Uh, uh, that's a pretty good size. I don't know if you would, magazine slash newspaper, right? Look at the cover of this thing, Pam. It came from Donna in Australia. Oh, in this page. It's going in Pam's pile. And I have my snacks. That's all that really matters. I have snacks. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Susan, I can't share that. Ah, oh my goodness gracious. I can't share that. So these are all my goodies from Donna. And Pam, full disclosure. Oops, hold on. I'm stuck. She sent this pile of magazines with a note on it that said jelly plating fun. Mm, maybe, yeah. <clears throat> that would make a cool writing board, wouldn't it? This. Yeah. Um, anywho, on the package of these magazine pages, Donna said jelly plating fun. I might take a day off tomorrow and jelly plate. Pam's going to shoot me. And I got cigarette cards and little coin envelopes. What's that say? Oh, I think these were stickers because that's backwards. Stickers on the back of the cigarette cart. Yeah, butterfly transfers. Place this transfer in water, preferably lukewarm, for about one minute. Then remove it. And having shaken off surplus of water, lay the picture upon the article in which you tend to decorate and apply pressure gently with palm of hand. After a few seconds, slide or peel off the paper very carefully while it's still wet. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh-oh. She said, what? <laughs> Wait, what? No day off for Johnny. I just got caught. Darn it. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Mm -mm. No. No, no. What if I jelly plate only bird things to go in your journal, then technically it wouldn't be a day off, right? I was watching a video of, I never thought of this, die cuts on the jelly plate, right? So you take your whatever, you know, dies you have, cut out, and I'm sure you guys have all done this. I've just never seen it. It's like the opposite of a stencil. Throw the die down, peel it up, and then there you have it. Anyway, I don't have very many dies, so you probably won't see me doing that. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I am, 2021 is good so far in my book. I'm just saying, I got, like I said, all but five orders out. I'm caught up on everything except Pam's journal. So, yeah, she may have to get a few extra goodies. Welcome to 2021 in the Philippines. Well, hi, Erin. Happy 2021. So, yes, live sale orders are out. Craft room is only meh, semi disaster, not a full disaster. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up, Carla. I don't know about that. I was wondering, you know, the other night I was playing with the um, the blender marker. You know, rubbing 
laser printed stuff onto other stuff. I was wondering if it would work, if it would transfer to the jelly plate, right? So if I took a laser image, rubbed on it, would it transfer that black image to the jelly plate? Just, just a thought, Do you know? What'd you miss, Nana? Oh, well, it was really only like a few minutes of just goofing around. Um, yeah, I don't, the hubby just walked in the door, so I don't know what he has planned for tomorrow, but if he's not going to be in my hair, then maybe I will come on and jelly plate with sole purpose of making things for Pam's journal. You know what, Peggy? I have, I, I currently own three jelly plates. I have the eight and a half by 11, the nine by 12, and I have a three by five. So I'll test this out on the three by five because all I use the three by five for now, I just use it to roll off paint on. Who's been around a long time? Susan McNeil is the alien crafted queen from my, oh, okay. Cool. Thanks for throwing me under the bus with the jelly plate, Piggy. And by the way, this is clear. It's not a black Sharpie. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. <clears throat> oh, only for one minute? Oh, gosh. What happens? Only for a minute. And Pam, you saw those um, bird flash cards that Julie made, old design shop. Pretty cool, right? So, oh, well, that's par for the course, huh, Carla? That is par for the course. All right, there. I have all my pretty stuff showing from Donna. Yeah, those would be cool too, Pam. Good night, KK. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna hop off of here. This was just a quick happy mail and cookie video. So yeah, I might be on tomorrow with the jelly plate. I need a brain break day. That would be fun. I just have to run around the room and find anything and everything I can with birds on it. So that my boss Pam doesn't ding me. <laughs> and at this point, she's probably going to have three covers to choose from because neither one of us can make a decision. So there's that. Oh, you're going to Chicago. Be safe, KK. <laughs> Thanks, Peggy. <laughs> Peggy, are you, are you drinking tonight? <laughs> Are you on the gin? <laughs> Peggy's pretty funny tonight. I'm just saying. I think she's got a little pep in her step because she's got one up on the hubby. I think the, I think that's what that's about. I rarely do either. Like like a glass of wine every three months, maybe. It's about the size of it. And boy, if I have two glasses in one sitting, watch out. I, I wouldn't put the pie in the water tumbler, Carla. Just saying. I would probably leave the pie out. It might make a mess. <laughs> uh. Could be yawning. It's not even eight o'clock. Okay. Oh, you poor girl. Does anybody have any announcements? Anything they want to share? Whether it's Facebook or Etsy or YouTube or.
or wherever else you might sell or craft or swap or whatever. Feel free to throw it in there. Dedicated, she says. <laughs> That's awesome, Carla. Peggy told her news. Moving on. That is amazing. I love it. Peggy has nothing else to report. Anybody else? Nothing? No? <laughs> Look at Carla egging her on. Oh my goodness, you guys are you guys are as bad as me. For sure. All right, ladies, I am going to say good night. And unless she did, unless Mr. Junk Journal Shop has something wild and crazy planned tomorrow, then I think we'll be on. And Pam, I'm excited for you to go back and look at that book and let me know, okay? And Donna, I'm sorry you didn't get my message and I opened the box without you. At what point this week can we stop saying Happy New Year? Just curious. I mean, like, do we have to say it for a whole week or how does that work? Anybody? <laughs> right now? Okay, good. <laughs> Susan's like, now I'm over it. <laughs> okay. Moving on. I won't say it anymore. At least she didn't say bird now. Ship. <laughs> bird ship. That'll be the new one, bird ship. Uh, <laughs> and it applies so many different ways. Oh, I, really, Peggy, why would they... Look it. You see those laughing that Peggy put up? They held it for review. Yes. Very quietly, stealth mode. Don't let anybody know we're even there. That's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Yep, just sneak on in. That was funny, Peggy. It held your laughing for review. <laughs> Apparently, you're not allowed to laugh anymore. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Oh, tell Betty I said hi. I don't ever see Betty around anywhere anymore. Tell her I said, hey. And I, I know it's been the holidays and everybody's been busy. So I'm really excited for everybody to kind of just get back to normal. We can all hang out a little bit more and relax a little bit. She said, hey, with a purple heart. <laughs> all right, guys. Not saying it anymore. Have a great evening. How's that? Have a great evening. Susan, enjoy your however many hours off you have left. Everyone else, thanks for coming. Ooh, chicken enchiladas. I did meatloaf, mashed potatoes, gravy, corn. That's what I did tonight. Yeah. Not exciting, but really good. Okay, I'm really leaving now. Look, I made it almost a whole hour. Or did I? I don't even know. Okay, guys, thanks thanks for listening to me yammer on. Good night. <laughs> oh, Betty. <laughs> Tell her no more. That's it. She doesn't get to say it anymore. Happy New Year, Betty. <laughs> now proceed quietly. <laughs> Through the one-way door. <laughs> All right, you guys, good night. <laughs>